Hello, my name is Casper. I am Stanley Creative, and welcome to this devlog for Rocket Explorer 0 0.8. Roll the intro. Hey, if you're new here, Rocket Explorer is a rocket viewing experience slash game ish that I've been developing for a little over a year now, and I think it's coming together well. If you want to try the free demo, you can do that. There's a link down below. And yeah, you can check out my channel for more info about that. I have a whole playlist with all the trailers and development vlogs and you can go all the way back to the beginning and see the progress. But let's just jump into it. So first off, we have some new rockets as always. So I've made the Long March 5. I've made the H-2A or IIA. And then I've also made the V2 rocket, which I debated a little bit with myself if, if I wanted to put it in there since it's a weapon, but it's also been used as a sort of suborbital uh, science capable uh, rocket. <laughs> and yeah, it was the first artificial thing to reach space that we humans have made. I think uh, in 1944 it crossed the Kármán line, and I think that's I think that's important history, even though it was also used as a weapon. So yeah, it's just instrumental in the development of rockets. So. Now you have it, you can look at it. And I didn't put a warhead on top, so don't worry, it's not gonna explode on you. So let's get into the big stuff. We have a new environment. I made a rocket hangar thing. It's sort of a generic hangar with two levels, so you can see the rockets from, from different angles and different heights. And yeah, I didn't base it off of anything. As you can see, the launch pad is clearly based off of launch pad 39A, which SpaceX operates with that black tower and yeah I'm, I'm gonna work on other launch pads in the future but for now that's the launch pad we have and then this hangar it's a way for you to view rockets laying down which is a really different experience especially in VR but also just playing on the PC and, and walking up and down the rockets it's a really cool experience so I did have to disable a bunch of features for inside the hangar I'm gonna look at in the future of making some unique features for the hangar but right now you you can't compare rockets and you can't launch rockets obviously <laughs> yeah there's a bunch of stuff that I had to disable because it just does make sense and wouldn't be possible in the hangar and yeah you can you can walk up and down the stairs and you can use the teleport menu to sort of teleport you to the pointy end or the flamey end or the opposite side of the hangar and I think it's it's quite neat. I hope you like it. I think it's a really cool new way to view or experience rockets. So let's talk about the next big thing, the search function. Now that that was a difficult thing to make. As it has to it has to loop through all the different rockets that I have and sort of you know show the correct result and make each button that are the results do the correct thing when you click on it and yeah it was just I have to do a lot of stuff with scripting and yeah you know I'm not educated I had to do a bunch of trial and error so yeah that took most of my time this month I think it's really important that I have it because now that I have like 34 rockets I think 30 plus rockets it gets quite tedious to sit there and click left and right through the rockets and even though I made that skip button that you can go all the way to the end if you know the rocket you're gonna view and if you know the name of it and such you can just search for it and I think that's a little bit quicker a little bit nicer user experience when you hover over each button you'll see all the rocket images and I think that's really neat and you can just make sure before you click it that you that it's the correct uh, rocket now there's something that might be I don't know I guess you guys can can tell me in the comments the results sort of disappear down at the bottom if there are more than, I don't know, about 10 or something. They sort of fade down in the bottom and you can't scroll down. Is that annoying or is it fine that you can just start typing because if you have more than 10 results, it's probably, that's probably because you just typed R or A, B or something like that. So yeah, let me, let me know if you want to actually be able to scroll down there. I didn't do it because it's more layers and more stuff that can go wrong with the interface, the UI, and it's more time dedicated to that. And yeah, I had to make the, the search function work first. Yeah, I think we're done with the, the search thing. 
And the next thing is VR. So yeah, up until now, I've only had Oculus support. In the very beginning, I actually had Steam VR, which did enable a lot of users to be able to do it, but I quickly switched over to Oculus because I upgraded Unity. It seemed more stable and the more up-to-date thing. Unity told me that the Steam VR was getting outdated and deprecated, but now Steam has released or pre-released a new Steam VR for the new Unity and it's wonderful. It was a nice plug and play solution. And yeah, so now you can play in VR on whatever headset you have. Now, because I haven't been able to test it on other headsets, I don't know how my buttons work and you know, all the menus. You can probably teleport around quite easily, I guess. So I don't know if you have a Vive controller, if there are buttons, if they work, if it's just a touchpad. But in any case, I think the keyboard should still work. So all the mappings for the standard uh, version still work in the VR version. So you can press T for the teleport menu, R to reset, E to open the rocket menu, etc. And then I don't know if the trigger works to actually interact with the menu, but please do let me know. I really want it to work on all the platforms. And if you do happen to have an Xbox controller, I think that should also be able to move around a little and open the menus, but I'm not sure. That's just standard mappings that translate over and I haven't disabled that. Please do let me know. Remember, we're still in version 0.8. It's all under development. Things move around. And there are some other improvements to the VR experience that just came with upgrading upgrading to Steam VR. Some UI is better and some movement and teleport and stuff. It's just, it's better. So that's nice. And then let's do a little quick fire with some other small things. We have huge improvements to the first person controller when you're not playing in VR, just on PC, Mac, stuff, Linux, whatever. The first person controller and looking around is much better. We have a new dedication symbol. So instead of just writing it in the info, now you, there's a little icon where you can hover over it and it'll show that the rocket is dedicated to someone. And that is a thing you can get on Patreon. It's quite expensive, but I mean, that's how you can get a rocket dedicated to you. I fixed the settings. So now changing the quality of full screen actually works, which it didn't before. I added some details and fixed some stuff on the Starship rocket and speaker rocket. I upgraded to Unity 2019.4.5. It's a small thing. You don't really need to know about that. Now you do. And then I improved some lighting and post-processing effects. So it's a little more beautiful. And that is it. That is it. Go try the demo if you haven't before. If you want to try this version, you can support me on Patreon to get access to that. It's the $5 tier and anything would help at this point. I have to mention this. I'm struggling a little bit. So even just $1 would help a lot. And yeah, even just supporting this channel, liking, viewing my other videos, it truly means a lot. So thank you guys so, so much. And I just have to shout out my patrons. They are amazing. They give good feedback on Patreon. And I have some wonderful producer level patrons as well. I have to just shout them out. They are cool people. And they are Tim Dot, Nilsson B, Felix Schlang, Andrew Law, Anush Patel, Markus Haus, I have to read this, T TJ Cooney and Adrian Kudianos. Thank you guys so much. That's getting a little bit, many of you, I can't mem memorize it. And that's just crazy. So yeah, check out my Patreon, check out my other videos, subscribe. I love you. Bye.